It's the world's first 3D printed band. Well, most of it. Professor Olaf Deagle printed as much of these instruments as he could, like this guitar, which is clearly in B. The sound is different, not better or worse. And I sort of liken it to, you know, in the 80s when the, when the ovation guitars, the plastic backed ovation guitars came out. When they first came out, there was a stigma attached to them and people said it'll never fly. And then people became fans of the new sound. Every one I make is tailor-made. So both sound-wise, balance-wise, aesthetic-wise, everything is custom-made to suit the musician in person. On the music front, where I'd really like to go is experiment with wind instruments. With 3D printing, you actually direct the airflow over weird cavities and do things that you couldn't do with conventional instruments. And being able to have chords and, and you know a flute that plays entire chords with the you know the melody backing them up, that would be something that's never been done before, and that would be pretty incredible, I think. We're just starting to scratch the surface of applications of what you can do with 3D printing, and music's just one of them, but there's hundreds and thousands of new applications. The next five years, I think, are going to be the cool years in terms of 3D printing.